Hi guys, welcome to Algorithms Made Easy. Today we will go through the question add two numbers. You are given two non-empty linked lists representing two non-negative integers. The digits are stored in reverse order and each of the nodes contain a single digit. Add the two numbers and return the sum as a linked list. You may assume that the two numbers do not contain any leading zero except the number zero itself. This is a pretty straightforward question of adding two numbers in a linked list. Let's see this example graphically in more detail. As mentioned in the question, we are given two lists, L1 and L2, and these are the head of these both lists. We need to return the sum of these two lists as another list, and the head of this list would be the first node. If you would see carefully, the addition would look like this. We would need an additional integer variable that would be carry, and we would need a result list. So we take a dummy node and then add the result list nodes to the next of the dummy node. Initially, the carry will be 0 and we add carry, list1 and list2 value which gives us 7. Since this is not greater than 9, the carry still remains 0. Now again, when we add all these 3 values, we get 10. And now, since the sum has become greater than 10, we would get a carry, that is 1. And similarly, we repeat the process till we have our numbers added up till the end. Finally, there can be a situation where the carry is still greater than 0. And at that time, we need to include the carry also into the result. Now that we know the simple addition rules, let's go ahead and code this. So firstly, let's take all the variables that we would be needing. First is the dummy head. Next is the head of L1 and L2. And the third thing that we need is carry. Now that we have all the variables that we need, we will take a while loop and execute the while loop while one of either P or Q has a value in it. In this while loop, let's take two variables int x and int y that would store the number from L1 and L2 that is P and Q. So this would take care of the size mismatch in our L1 and L2 list. Our sum would be addition of x, y and carry. And carry would become sum divided by 10. Now we need to create a new node that would be attached to our current node. The value for this new node would be sum mod 10. With this we will shift the pointers of all the nodes that we are having. Now, after this while loop is terminated, we can have a condition where we have a value in carry. So, if carry is greater than 0, we need to attach the value in carry to our current.next. After this is complete, we just need to return dummy.next. Let's run this code and it gives a perfect result. Let's try to submit this and it got submitted. The time complexity for this algorithm would be maximum of the size of L1 and L2 and the space complexity also would be max of L1 and L2 plus 1 that is for the carry. That's it for today guys. See you in the next one.